Despite the apparent breakthrough, the new potato variety has a bumpy path to regulatory approval. That's because genetically modified crops like the potato have a large share of critics. Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, are crops that have been engineered to resist, resist pests, be less vulnerable to disease, or even contain more nutrients. While supporters claim that GMOs are safe to eat, critics are concerned that they could have a negative impact on human health. More than 60 countries have full or partial bans on GMOs. Among the countries still deciding, Mexico. A federal judge there recently halted any new GMO permits for corn. CCTV's Frank Contreras is following the story from Mialpa, Alta, Mexico. In the most traditional parts of Mexico, naturally grown corn is still the reigning king of all grains. Agriculture experts say a majority of Mexican farmers still produce corn without the use of GMO products. They're facing increased competition from major multinational seed corporations. Local farmer Silvestra Guerrero prefers the natural method. Her family has been raising naturally grown corn for centuries. We are productive now, but if we lose this Mexican rural way of life, Mexico itself would be lost. That cannot happen. Small-scale farmers and biologists say corporations appear to be in a rush to get their GMO seed products sown here in the birthplace of corn. Mexico has become the main battleground in the global debate over genetically modified corn because at the center of the Mexican diet is this food. Several international seed companies, including Pioneer and Monsanto, along with the Mexican government, are appealing a judge's decision to suspend the planting of GMO corn. Lawyer Rene Galindo represents the plaintiffs, small-scale producers and activists in a class-action lawsuit aimed at blocking GMO corn in Mexico. It should have been the companies, Monsanto, Pioneer, Dow, who were the first to contest this decision, not the Secretary of Agriculture. They become bureaucrats in favor of transnational companies. A government biologist says at issue is the very existence of Mexico's vast variety of native corn species, which she says will inevitably be contaminated by GM corn pollen. When it comes to genetically modified corn, the truth is we do not know the long-term consequences of using it, so we urge caution. Planting and harvesting native corn varieties, according to these small-scale producers, is the best way to keep native Mexican corn in existence. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Milpa Alta, Mexico.